So in this exercise, we're going to be exploring how to create just a simple pipe network. We're going to be creating a storm drainage network. And once we create this, then we're going to be swapping out the parts just to see how certain structures will look in kind of like a 3D space. So what we'll start with is we'll go into our 01 pipe network creation drawing file that's located in your tutorials folder. And as you can see, we have just a basic parking lot. We have a basic site and we have a blue line that's essentially a storm pipe. We're just calling this just a, an existing storm pipe. And we have just a block of just a simple manhole, just a simple storm manhole. Now, what we'll do first is we'll go ahead and create a brand new pipe network. And the way that we accomplish this is if you go into your tool space, go under pipe networks and then under networks we're going to right click and we're going to select create pipe network we're going to do it by layout and we're just going to name this storm next we'll select our networks parts list and currently we have sanitary sewer a standard parts list and a storm sewer parts list Go ahead and select Storm Sewer, and then click OK. And then we get our Network Layout Tools toolbar. And that's essentially how you just create just a simple pipe network. As we take a look at our toolbar, you can see that we have a button that gives us a parts list option. So if we click on that, at any point, we can click this drop down and we can select a different parts list. But for right now, we'll just stick with Storm Sewer. Click OK. And then we'll take a look at our standard structures. And as you can see, we just have a ton of different structures listed here. However, what I want to focus on is just a rectangular structure. Let's go with this rectangular junction structure. Go ahead and expand that and then click on the 24 by 24 inch rectangular structure. And what we'll do is we'll actually put in that structure more or less in the corner of this parking spot. We'll click this drop down menu and select structures only. And then I'm just going to put it just in a random spot, roughly right here. And then press enter to accept the results. And currently you can see that the structure doesn't quite line up with our face of curb. Our yellow line is our curb face, as you can see. And if we close this down, and then after that, choose the view controls. Right now we're in the top view. Click that and select Southwest Isometric. And after we do that, you can see that we have our structure. And if we want to, we can move this by typing in M for move. We select our object, click the endpoint of this corner of our structure and place it at the endpoint of our face of curb. So we're able to line everything up very, very nicely.